Hi, you are going to hatch chicken chicks with an incubator and you are not sure if you can match the right temperature, humidity, turning of eggs and fresh air. In this video I want to show you how to hatch chicken chicks with an incubator. First I want to talk about temperature, humidity, turning eggs and fresh air. And in the second part of the video I will show you how I handle it. I am a chicken breeder from Germany and I breed the rare breed Krefkör. That is a dual purpose chicken. A lot of confusion about the temperature is because of these two temperatures. 37.8 degrees centigrade and 38.3 degrees centigrade. And what is the right temperature? I can easily resolve this because the temperature that the chicken eggs need to hatch is uh, this one. The higher temperature is just because of different uh, constructions of the brooders. I have this one, this is an automatic Kovatuto and uh, I have a fan inside this brooder and so the temperature that I have in the brooder is uh, circulated and it is homogeneously distributed. Uh, I have the, ho the same temperature everywhere around the eggs. And this is an other construction of a brooder. This is uh, one, the heating comes, the temperature comes only from above and there is no circulation, there is no fan inside here. And at the top of the egg I have this uh, 38.3 degrees centigrade and we assume that we have a layering of temperature inside this uh, incubator and at the bottom end of the chicken I have one degree difference to the top and in the middle of the egg I have again my 33.8 degrees centigrade that the eye needs. So in this incubator it is very important to turn the eggs and even in horizontal distribution there is uh, some kind of temperature difference and so I have every day to redistribute the eggs from the inner part into the uh, outer ring of, of this brooder. So I, I need more time every day, several times a day, I need to care for this one and this one is more or less automatically. I only have to care about the humidity but I will come to humidity in just a minute because in some manuals of uh, incubators they are set in the last three days before hatching the ch chicks you have to lower the temperature and it is because uh, the chickens themselves when they are already almost hatching they produce a lot of, of uh, body temperature and so uh, the brooder might overheat during hatching and if we don't have an internal measurement like in this incubator that, that uh, reduces the heating when, when more heating comes from the egg. With this one I have to do nothing before with the temperature before hatching but in this one I should lower the temperature a bit. But you have to check your manu manual of the uh, incubator and uh, <laughs> you have to do what, what is uh, standing there. The next topic I want to talk about is the humidity and with humidity we have quite a bit big range of recommended humidity. Um, from day 1 to 18 there is uh, from 40 to 60 percent relative humidity. It is called relative humidity in English, I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> humidity, I think you, you know what I want to say. And from day 19 to 21 and from day 19 until hatching on day 21. We can help the chicken chicks hatching when we raise the humidity by some levels and the recommendations are from 65 to 85 percent and it's not uh, so easy to reach this high level of, uh, of humidity in, inside an incubator. You have to, to uh, make a towel wet and place it inside a, the incubator to, to reach such high degrees of humidity. If we hatch eggs with a chicken, with a hen, with a cluck, the eggs underneath uh, the chicken will rub and uh, the outer layer will, will get thin and thinner. But uh, 
with, uh, with this artificial incubation we don't have this rubbing of, of eggshell and make it thin and more fresh air coming into it and uh, with more humidity uh, towards the end of the hatching period uh, we help the chicken to hatch because uh, with water the chalk egg will, will be more porous and more fresh air can go inside and uh, this skin, the inner skin of, uh, of the egg will, will be softer and it will be easier for the chick to hatch if we raise the hum humidity. That's why we do it. The next topic is the turning of the eggs. From day one we are allowed to, to turn the eggs but we don't have to turn the eggs. From day one to three uh, we don't have to mind if the eggs are turned or not. We are allowed to turn but we don't have to. From day four to day eight it is very important to turn the eggs because uh, the embryo will evolve and maybe he will be fixed in the inner side of the egg and he will stick to it and then he will die. And with, with turning the egg, uh, with the beginning of day, day four and going on, uh, this will not happen. So we have to, to turn the eggs from day four until till day 18. And uh, then the embryo, the chicken, will, will change the breathing to lung, to, to breathe with, with his own lung and therefore he has to, to pick inside the air bubble. And then he will breathe with the lung from day 19 on and until that day we have to prepare the, the hatch of the chicken and from day 19, 20 and 21 we do not turn the eggs because uh, the, the chicken chick inside the egg will uh, orientate itself to, to above and he wants it wants to pick the shell above it and if we turn the egg the chicken inside the egg has to turn itself again to above and it will lose a lot of power by doing it and maybe it will be too weak to, to hatch then. So from day 19 to uh, 21 the eggs should not be touched and we should only, if really necessary, open the incubator. The next topic is fresh air. The evolving embryos and chicken chicks inside the eggs uh, from, from the period of hatching with every day they need, they need a little bit more of fresh, egg, fresh air, oxygen and at the end when they start breathing with their own lungs at day 19 they need more fresh air. So at some incubators we have, we have a, a fan or something we can open it more but uh, with this one we have openings here and I don't have to do anything with this with fresh air it's, it's just working with this incubator I have to to open it once a day for at least 10 minutes so fresh air will come to the eggs so that the embryo can can breathe now I want to show you how I handled it with this my first hatch in 2021 I collected hatching eggs over a quite long period because I had Marans and Lavendel Araucana hatching eggs sent to me and I have my own Crefkör chicken eggs and uh, these eggs were too old, they were older than three weeks. I stored uh, the hatching eggs for more than three weeks and I know I'm not able to hatch chicken chicks uh, from older eggs than three weeks so I put them not in the incubator. This egg was far too small, this one. Maybe it was the first egg in, in the laying year of, of a older hen or a new hen. And I don't want to hatch dirty eggs. There may be pathogen microbes on, on the surface of the dirty eggs and so I don't want to, to hatch pathogen microbes so I leave them outside of the incubator and this year the first time I used uh, a disinfectant and I used uh, a liquid from oregano and it is as efficient as formaldehyde and uh, 
I show you how I did it. And now I dip the eggs into organic disinfectant. It's from Ogregano oil and it is not toxic. Uh, oh, it is toxic for bacteria and uh, pathogen chymes, but it's not toxic for me and not for the embryos of the chicken. So I dip them for a few seconds and then uh, the disinfectant will... will uh yeah, I put uh, all the eggs into my three incubators. I have two of the Covatutu ones, a smaller and a bigger one. And in this one, I only have to care for humidity. So I have to, to refill water into this thing there. And uh, the turning is automated. Uh, this uh, makes the eggs turn themselves. And I'm controlling humidity with this hygrometer. I have the white ones are my Krefkur eggs. I have English Arocana and Lavender. And I have beautiful chocolate Maran's eggs. But I try to hatch. In this one, I have a lot of my Krefkur chicken eggs. And in this one, I have more of the beautiful chocolate reddish brown Maran eggs. I hope they will hatch. Beginning with day three or maybe day four of hatching chicken eggs, you can easily candle white eggs. If you want to see an unfertile egg, you can just candle an, a not hatched egg or you will see like a light bulb. They will just glow the whole egg. And if they are fertile, you will see something like a spider. The embryo of the chick is inside it. And with this egg, you can see the heart beats. At day four, the heart really beats. Can you see it? It's incredible. And after candling the eggs, you should take out the eggs uh, of that you are sure they are not fertile and nothing is evolving inside of it because pathogen microbes might evolve inside this unfertile eggs uh, like an explosion and they can infect the other eggs uh, for example with uh, salmonella and we don't want to have salmonella in our hatching eggs or chicks that's why we take out the unfertile eggs yeah, if you want to see the chicken chicks hatching, then please consider subscribing and uh, leave a like. I will keep you informed. <laughs> Goodbye, your Dr. Bainer. Take care and always remember, chickens are dinosaurs.